When we talk about hurricanes and tropical storms, sometimes you'll hear us mention the Fujiwara effect. Now, it sounds complicated, but the idea is actually pretty simple. It's what happens when two storms get close enough to each other to influence each other's movement. So picture it like two tops spinning around, placed near each other. Each has its own spin, but get them close enough, and they'll start to rotate around a common center point. And that's essentially what's happening in the atmosphere. When tropical cyclones move within about 800 or 900 miles of each other, their circulations can interact. And instead of following their usual paths, they begin to orbit around that shared center. Sometimes the effect is mild, and the storms just dance around before heading on their separate ways. Other times, one storm can absorb the other or their interaction can pull them on a track that's totally different than the models first suggested. And there have been some somewhat recent examples of this occurring in real time. In 2023, Rena and Philippe danced around, but it was more pronounced in 2017 with Hurricane Hillary and Tropical Storm Irwin, and in 2016 with Hurricane Matthew and Tropical Storm Nicole. So the Fujiwara effect isn't common, but when it does happen, it creates a fascinating tug of war in the tropics. Two powerful systems literally pushing and pulling on each other in the atmosphere.